How much on a bet that like literally will save me like so much time? Hi. You seem nice. Don't I don't think you need to worry about that. Also, what am I even on? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm like wondering it's like which quest am I on? Okay, bring your parts. Fantastic, we got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I like how I can steal, like, I can take that, but it's like, no, everything else is illegal. Yeah, shh. Just, just, just shh. That's what I want. Yo. Are you one of us yet? No, I'm not. Mm, we're good. Nice. Okay. So. Well, that honestly saved us a lot of time. Very happy about that. One, I didn't have to fight anybody. Two, I didn't have to sell anything. Three, two birds, one stone. Done. Possibly three birds, one stone. Now... Let's hope, and I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that with this, I could get in, because I, I do, I do need, you know, some, whatever. Hey! You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Yeah, I got the parts. Well, what? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticore infestation. Uh, define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. Okay. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. All right, well, I'll make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. All right, cool. Nice work, Madge. Hey! Be seeing you, stranger. Yeah, seen you too. Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. Yeah. Keep your wits about you down there. I don't want to clean crispy feelings. Okay, okay, relax, chill. Don't know what that does. Oh, you're up top. Okay. I was wondering where you were. There we go. Perfect. Mantis swarm, dead. Mantis pillars, got nothing on me. Oh, whatever. At least I get shit. It's always good. So, thing is a little steamy. Just a tiny bit. Thought I heard something. Alright. There we go. Ah, ha, 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 ha,
Okay. Oh, hello. Don't know what that one is, but hey, we got stuff. Good news. Song tells me the security mechanicals turned up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. All right. Fantastic. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Come on. Oh shit. Oh god, heal! Ah, I'm still in combat. <sighs> Hold on. for the heads up. Okay. You all good? Alright, perfect. So, we took care of everybody. Awesome. Alright, so. Let us go. Okay, cycle drop of pumps. No expendable personnel must intervene a shift before activating the full okay. Cobbled together. Staff is getting restless, work around in half cock solutions, or we got to mend groundbreakers' bones. The case can't revive what's without cannibalizing another. I'm gonna live to that reality and so will I. I can rally our spirits, what happens if I'm not around? All plans. <laughs> Okay, return to route. All right, well. Perfect! Nice. Glad we took care of that. Oh, what's this? Archive logs. Arrival confirmation. Stuff, stuff, and things. I caught you keeping back duty. I'll be remiss. Close transmissions. Alright. Stern reminder. Some rich and elements. 
Do you why I flow us out here? I wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a space trunker on my ass. It was nickel and dime passing chips out of their bit. Groundbreaker has no rule in the success or failure. Hey, salons, corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding clearly outlined in writing before I ever set foot on the ship. If everyone wants to dispute, come for that. To Tennyson, we're a family operation even if the tent last Tennyson falls. Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom. Okay. That works. Alright. So... No one saw me trip over that bridge. Nope. No one did. You're you're all set, dude. You are all good. Okay. So we got that set up. Hey. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Thanks. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Nice. Well, what's it like being command here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Oof. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Well, Barbara here could always help you shoulder the burden. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Is this ship a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during a crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Yeah, condolences. I'm sure those are big shoes to fill. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Aren't you a little young to be training for a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. Mm. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. All right, well, back to my other you questions. Got my attention. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Well, how do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Yeah, well, back to my other questions. You've got my attention. We'll be on our way. Hey! Up, up. Ah, hi. Are you aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, is that what you do for the Groundbreaker? Relay messages? Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the Groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to Architect Knows Where doing Law Knows What soon enough. Well, why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, Hal? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Alright, sounds time like to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. 
Well, I could check that out. No need for official sign-off. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Yeah, of course. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just let them sit in memory? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay, well, I'm off. Alright. Wait, what the? Hold up. What is... Spacer's choice. Kinda happy though, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Neutral, 2%. 0%, okay. Iconoclast? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, first off... Is there something I could do to remove... Because I didn't realize that's a fucking thing. Alright. How do I get rid of this shit? I don't know! Hmm. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, I could try this. Does that do anything? Don't know. Ooh, nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So how do I get rid of these? Yeah, like how how do I get rid of the time crash? I I don't I literally do not know how do I get rid of time crash. Like how 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 do how do I do that? That like cuz that's going to that's going to fuck me hard here. Uh All right. Hmm. Good on Bedford. Gladys. All right, let's talk to you. I'm just going to hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Okay. You think the board and its agents would be more content? Sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Yeah. Scheduled to air soon, but it's hey. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Yeah, I'm 
Fortunately, uh, Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? I wouldn't really know. It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? Uh. He died in an escape pod accident. Oh. Awful business, that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. Yeah, I. Again, I'm just very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> There, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, uh, however, that's... before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Uh, he never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Well, what's this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Is there anything I could do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's, well, it's my white whale, I suppose. Hmm, can I actually do a save here? I can't. Yeah, I can't tell you where it's he fine. is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Yeah, sorry about now, that, man. if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Alright, we'll, we'll leave. Well, that was easy! I still don't know how to get rid of this fucking shit on my screen! When might we expect you out here again? Uh, is there like a way? Step lightly, Miss Holcomb. I'm not winded. Honest, my uh, boot was untied. Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. <laughs> All right. Let me. Gonna try sleeping. That head does get rid of it. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Glad that I just need to like sleep. Perfect. Didn't know as I can pick that up. Anyway. Hey, Sunita. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet. I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Well, he's completely dead. Got the lucky lighter. bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Thanks. Be on my way. Actually, wait. Hey, bounty hunter. You're welcome here anytime. So long as you ain't loitering. I do have, uh... Any bounties available? With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. What's a Mardet? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. Okay, well, why Mardet and not got her officer? The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailwork Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardettes because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Mm, all right, I'll be on my way. All right. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Uh, really? Chief Tennyson? Chief Junlei Tennyson, 
She runs the ship. Does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since it was built, I think. Back before the crossing. Right, well, I'd like to really get back there. Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area's off limits. <sighs> I told you. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. Maybe check back in a few days. Come on! I've done a lot for you, by the way! All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. Of course! Thank you. Okay. So... go yeah don't don't mind me guys don't mind me do not need you guys to run it's not necessary there it is just yank the drive and I'll do the rest okay check that confiscate goods jaw catch it specter Security logs, sublight van. Okay, cool. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Here you go. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You hesitated there, buddy. Why don't you tell me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? It seems awfully convenient. Yeah, it really does. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Alright, well, that sounds good. Let's go. Very wonderful. So. Still have the herniated disc. But, but, but. Get some stuff. I'm glad. Like, let's see here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll just focus on this. Toss one in there, two in there, two in there. Two in there, two in there, and, uh, holy shit, my engineering is fucking huge! God damn, bro! We got one more, let's toss it in the guns, of course, because, yeah, why not, you know? Alright. Thank you to him. Glad that we got that out of the way. All right, silent voices, travel relay. So we have to go to Icilia, or Cilia. Where's contact? All right, let's try that one. Again, we're doing all the other missions before we do the main one that we can do here, you know? Thanks. Anyway, medical bay. Cheers. Uh, hello. June Lay called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Now, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, let's see what you got for sale. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. And a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Of course. Ten. Ten. I 